Then in Paris, I went to a couple of museums, 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 call them what you will, Louis. It makes no difference to me. Um, and uh, Paris has some really great museums. And I went to the Louvre and that is where the famous Mona Lisa is. OK, and I was really looking forward to seeing the Mona Lisa. I don't understand what goes on at the Mona Lisa. If we have art connoisseurs or artists or anybody who understands why what I'm about to describe to you took place, please tell me. You approach the Mona Lisa, OK, long hallway. You're going by all of these priceless old pieces of art as it is, but people are just ignoring them. They have tunnel vision. They're just following signs to the Mona Lisa. You get to the Mona Lisa room and it's a huge crowd. There's a couple security guards in there near near the painting. There's kind of a metal barrier that stops maybe four feet from the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is noticeably smaller than a lot of people assume. It's behind several pieces of glass, which I'm told is because they used to have a no photograph policy and everybody took photographs. So they said, OK, we can't control people taking pictures. We're going to just put the Mona Lisa behind what I can only assume is a specific type of glass that prevents or mitigates the damage that flash photography can do. It's chaos in the room. Well, I'm almost knocking my mic over. This story was so incredible. It's completely chaotic in the room. People are screaming. People are pushing. People are taking pictures. It's it's a mass of people. And I just kind of stand there and I start slowly working my way to the front because I just want to observe the Mona Lisa and people are going nuts. People are snapping 50 terrible pictures of the Mona Lisa. You see that the flash is creating a huge reflection on the glass. You're not going to see anything, but people need pictures of a painting. I don't get it. What do you do with those pictures? You take 50 terrible pictures of a painting that you can easily find high resolution images of online. Do you ever look at those pictures? The pictures I could see, I was looking at people's viewfinders. The heads, the tops of people's heads are blocking the Mona Lisa in the pictures. What do you do with these pictures of the Mona Lisa once you get home? What is the point of this? I think it's just the point was to show it to other people and say, look, I was here. I took this picture. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. People are pushing. At one point, a woman started. She literally put it was like in basketball when you drop your shoulder as you're driving to the basket. She was dropping her shoulder and just trying to power through people with three cameras. She had two cameras hanging from her head. She had her cell phone camera out and I stood my ground. Standing your ground is not shooting an unarmed black teenager in Florida. That's not standing your ground. Standing your ground is what I did standing in front of the Mona Lisa, which is simply stand and not allow this woman to knock me down in order to take her 50 terrible pictures of a painting on three different cameras. I just didn't get it. And when you went to uh, to to other places, um, it was not nearly as crazy. They have the Venus de Milo at the Louvre as well. A lot of pictures were being taken there, not as many. And that actually makes more sense to me because it's interesting to see the Venus de Milo. And I, I don't know, it, it doesn't make that much sense to me. But still, I would if I were to take a picture of art, I would first take a picture of the Venus de Milo than to start taking pictures of a painting behind multiple panes of glass. Yeah, well, uh, the, there is no better image of a painting than those high resolution ones you find online because a painting is a flat uh, square or right. a rectangle. Uh, and that's just the best image you can get. But the Venus, of course, is a 3D sculpture. I mean, you can potentially get a very unique photograph of it depending on your angle and, and whatever. So uh, I think that makes way more sense.